Have you ever taken your radio into the field only to discover you're missing a critical component? Let's see if we can fix that today. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So after I decided earlier this year to move to a more modular approach to go bags, one thing that I really didn't like was the checklist that I had. I had this master convoluted spreadsheet that had all of my items on it. But when it was time to actually pack my bag, yeah, well, it could have been better. So I sat down and wrote a little script that helps me and thought you guys might enjoy it as well. The first thing we need to do is we need to head over to GitHub so we can download the script. I'll leave links to this down in the description below. Once you're on this page, you want to go ahead and click this raw button right here. If you miss this step, you're going to get an error. But let's go ahead and click the raw button and give that just a second to load. Once that loads, you should be presented with just a plain text page here. We want to come right up to the top and we're going to highlight that address. And I'm going to use Control C on the keyboard to copy it. We can go ahead and minimize the browser and we'll jump over to the terminal window. Once the terminal window opens, let's go ahead and move to our downloads directory with CD space downloads. Press return. Next, we're going to use the wget command to download that script. So wget space, and then I'm going to right click and paste in that link that we just copied. It only takes it a couple of seconds to download. I'm going to clear the screen and list out the directory. You'll see that we do have the checklist generator script right here. Now we need to get that installed. So to do that, we're going to run bash space checklist hyphen generator space install and go ahead and press return. Now I've got the dependencies already installed on this particular Pi. You'll probably see at least one dependency be installed right here. If it asks for your sudo password, you'll have to give it so that it can download and install the dependencies. Now that the install is done, I'm going to go ahead and just close the terminal and I'm going to close the web browser that we had open a minute ago. Let's come up to the Pi menu, come down to Accessories, and you should see the checklist generator. Go ahead and click on that, and it'll open up for the first time. Now, before you create your first checklist, you're going to want to edit your categories and your list items. So let's go ahead and take a look at categories. There are three of these that install by default. So radios, batteries, and HF antennas. So I'm just going to click OK right here and go ahead and edit the list items. In this menu, you'll get a drop-down with each of the categories that were on the category list. And you can add as many categories as you like to that category list. Let's go ahead and click on radios and say edit the list. After you've added your radios, you can simply click OK, but notice that each radio is on its own line. So don't put multiples on one line. I'll go ahead and click OK. I'm going to go back in and edit the list items again. This time we're going to choose batteries. And I'm going to do that one more time for HF antennas. Once you've got your categories and your list items set up, you can then create a checklist. The first thing it'll ask you is to give this checklist a name. So we'll just call this one video and click continue. Next, it's going to cycle through each of your categories and present you with the items that you added to the list. You can click on a single item or you can hold your control key on the keyboard and be able to click multiple items from each list. After you get those selected, go ahead and press continue. Once you've made your selections in each of the categories, it will tell you that the list has been created. So I'm just going to click OK right there, and you will see two different lists over here on the desktop. Now I'm going to show you guys in just a second how to import and export config files once you get this set up the way you want it. But for now, let's go ahead and take a look at the plain text file. And you can see it gives you your list name right at the top. It tells you when this list was created. And then it gives you each of the categories with the items 
for each category right below that. Now this is, uh, again, a simple text file. If you prefer something uh, that's a little cleaner, if you want to print this out, take a look at the other file that was generated that is an HTML file. If you double click on that, it will open that list in the web browser where you can print it out. Now, let's cover how to import lists. Now, I've already exported uh, a checklist from another computer, so I'm just gonna click on Import Config Files. I'm going to navigate to the desktop. I'm gonna highlight the checklist folder and click OK. And that's it. My other list has now been imported into this computer. So I'll just click OK right there. And if we click on Edit Categories, you'll see all of the different categories that I already had established on the other computer. You can also go through at any time and edit those list items. So this time you'll notice we've got a lot more categories to choose from after I imported my other checklist. So if we click on solar right here, we can say edit that list and you'll see the items that I already have on this list. It's easy enough to add to it by just dropping down to the next line and adding another item. Press OK when you're done. Exporting your config files is just as easy. I'm going to go over here to the desktop and delete all of the files that I had on there from earlier. Back in the checklist generator, I'm going to click Export Config Files. It'll let you know that those files have been exported, and you'll see that new directory right over here on the desktop. So I hope you find this application helpful when you're getting ready for your next radio adventure. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.